Juan. The Pero is welcoming us to San Juan. Oh hell, this is dope. This is crazy. Every place here is so beautiful. All right, we just took the boat ride, Panhanchal, about across the lake. It's about, it took about 40 minutes. Uh, we went to San Marcos yesterday, but it's day three in San Juan. So we're gonna check out San Juan. Heard a lot of good things on social media about San Juan. So we're gonna check it out, see what's going on. I'm loving the vibes of this place. First reaction to San Juan so far, it is sick. The vibes are just unreal. These little cars roaming around. This is a cool spot though. Yeah, super cute. This spot is awesome. They sell beans. I'm in love. So we heard there's a cool lookout point in San Juan. We also heard you can make your own chocolate in San Juan. So we're gonna go see if we can find that. We're just kind of, no real agenda. We're kind of just walking around and gonna see what stops us. We're also hunting for some cool furniture or paintings or something. Not That'd be furniture, cool. <laughs> more like accessories for our house. We're not bringing any couches back today. <laughs> Uno, por favor. No caliente. No. Little mangoes. This is like a perfect mango. So we asked where it was from. Donde esta esta mango? And they said, from Mexico actually. Oh so good. It was 10 quitales, which is... A dollar and 20 cents. So we're hungry for some more food. We're looking for a little snack somewhere. So we're gonna see what catches our eye. I think we found our winner. See what we're working with here? So we'll pick something good. But this is a vibe here. So we got some chicken. That looks like a bit rare American dish. Have you ever gotten watermelon with your french fries before? No, but they always put it with, they put watermelon with everything here. One of the most popular things in Guatemala is, is the pepillon, which is yeah. like basically chicken tomato yeah. soup. The other one was shredded. This is like a full piece of chicken. They yeah, got a full meat stick in there. Found a little friend from the street. A little cool square. All right, I found the lookout point that we're going to. Right up there. So we are about to go climbing. Tuk -tuk. Tuk -tuk. The streets are like too wide for regular cars, so everyone's these little things. So apparently the art museum is a cool thing to visit in San Juan as well. But we are doing the hike first. Sarah, how do we feel about going up there? Light work, no reaction. Easy money. Uh, we just started our ascent. Looks like they got these souvenir shops right here. And we are going up. It is it's pretty steep, Loki. Light work. No reaction. Stairway to heaven right here. All these little stores on our way up. Hello. Look at this view right here. Hello. I feel like we're getting closer. Yeah, these views are insane. All right, we made it to the top. What are you doing up here, buddy? Wow. Very cool, very cool. We got our chicken. You can see cool guys. This is the, the spot right here. Looks like we're painting. Got a little update on the mural. All right, time to see what the view looks like. In the sky. This is like the Hat Street. I saw this is a cool spot to check out. Also, the city has all these cool colors everywhere. There's a cool little school on Hat Street. All right, so here's the chocolate factory. So we're gonna try and do this chocolate tour. So we just walked in and they're giving out free chocolate tours. So we are gonna take one in 10 minutes. Mega fruit grows in five different colors, for example. 
red, purple, yellow, orange, and green. The cacao seeds after the fermentation process. Mm. We need to peel it. This process is by hand and it's one by one. Oh wow. Try the chocolate the cacao. Definitely a little bitter. Yes. I want to get more macadamia ones. So we're picking our chocolates that we want. That's that wonderful tour. There's 23 flavors here. Macadamia, cranberry, coconut, basil, and orange. We got like orange chocolate, and we also got different balls. Cool spot, okay. chocolate factory. So then we got to taste the chocolate. I'm gonna try the coconut, coconut first. So good. It's a cranberry. That's so interesting. Yeah, so rich. Like, there's no. There's, yeah, it's just chocolate. What's that? Macadamia. Macadamia. Fire. I think how beautiful it looks. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. All right, San Juan. We'll see you later. We're heading back to Panahachel. Going to take the boat. It'll be probably a 40 minute boat ride, so it'll be fun. Peace out. All right, it's day four. We're about to get some coffee right now. Gonna do a little bit of work at the, our hotel, the Selena. Gonna show you guys that spot. So let's go. Here's the coffee spot we're at right now. Six hours later. It's now way later in the afternoon. We had a turn for the worst. Basically, Sarah actually got sick from the, I think it was like the street food last night. So she's been laying in bed all day. We are gonna do this whole video um, of us at the hotel right now, like in the co-working space. She's feeling a little bit better right now. About probably like 12 hours since she did get sick. Yeah, she's kind of napping. She's gonna text me if like she needs anything, but I'm just gonna go on a little walk, get some more water and maybe a snack and just gotta enjoy the day a little bit and hopefully she's feeling better for tomorrow. But um, in the meantime, I'm gonna show you guys the Selena and where we're staying at right now. People are just hanging out. The community is pretty, really cool. They got great Wi-Fi. A bunch of like digital nomads, uh, entrepreneurs, like creators. So it's a, it's a good vibe of, of young people that are all doing the same thing. They even gave Sarah some medicine from the front office um, to help her feel a little bit better. So I was definitely helping her out. Definitely recommend the Selena. They do a good job. Go on a walk, kind of see what's going around in the city, kill some time, and then uh, get some fresh air. So let's go. Woo! <laughs> I love going to the supermarkets and like seeing all the different things that they have. Like for example, I found a Gatorade in a glass bottle. Oh yeah, it's just kind of fun to see what, uh, what kind of different alternative variations of products they had. Yesterday we had a pineapple Fanta. But yeah, gonna enjoy this glass bottle Gatorade. Big update. Era has survived. Sorry. Another day, another coffee shop. It's like an 80s coffee. Find some vibes in here. I still like my coffee sweet, so I've been getting it with almond milk. They do have almond milk in Guatemala. No oat milk though. And they actually get into, they do with syrups too, so sometimes they get the vanilla syrup. We got a caramel syrup this time. Treating myself with some good coffee. Sarah, Sarah was really MIA, but we're happy she's back. That looks 10 out of 10. I love this. The coffee cups are so cute. Yeah, the, Sarah just tried mine and it's extremely sweet. I just booked this ATV tour. 
they don't really speak English, so I'm going to practice my Espanol. I don't really know like what the tour really entails, so we're about to find out. But the tour is going to be Tres Porras. So it's going to be a three hour tour. Me and Sarah are going to ride one ATV. I guess the tour like takes you through a couple of the local villages around Panahechel. And this is our last day in Panahechel, so it would be kind of cool to see the city from the ATV. Basically we have a tour guide, and me and Sarah it's just a single tour, so we're going to we're gonna do some ATV in here soon. Church at Santa Catalina. Santa TV tour is going great so far. We just got some bracelets supporting the local businesses. All right, are you ready? <laughs> Let's go. <Okay. laughs> City is so beautiful though. The village next to Penahachel, as we did the whole ride over here. And now, I don't really know where we're going next, but we'll find out soon. <laughs> The Lake Atikan, like we know very well. You're killing it on the on the tour so far. All right, now we're about to get a ceramics ass. Looking at all the pots. See, they're working on these ones. A lot of pose. Yes. All right, now we're going back to Panahachel. We're about two villages over, so now we gotta make our way back. You know, one thing that I've noticed just walking around is that everyone is so kind and nice. Um, say hola, como estas, and it's, it's really refreshing. And I've noticed just the people of Guatemala seem to be really happy. And also talking to other travelers, people have said the same thing. Um, also, just it's been fun being able to speak Spanish. I did take Spanish in, in high school. It's definitely worn off, so it's been fun just getting back into it. I, it's honestly one of the highlights of the trip is just interacting with the locals, on people, and they do really appreciate when you when you do try and speak a little Spanish. I mean, and making a lot of friends. So from from our, our shuttle driver at the beginning, the people on the boat to the ATV driver, it, it's been just cool, kind of talking to all the locals and kind of getting to know them and a little bit about their culture. So yeah, just a little update that I don't want to share. <laughs> 